When you have military pilots come forward and they talk about their encounters with either the Tic Tac or the gimbal, whatever that was, and, and they, they talk about these experiences in the air that are not explained by any of the extensive training that they have, what does that mean? Does that automatically rule out classified technology? And sadly to the general public, I think that there's an aura that if you question a man or woman who comes forward, who's highly trained, and they are the best of the best of what they do, that they're an F-18 pilot that's highly skilled. If you question that, you're somehow, you're, you're somehow insulting them. And we, we shouldn't think that way because they still are the best of the best in what they do. But it doesn't mean that they're as versed or well-versed or versed at all about the classified pieces of technology that are in development, that are being tested, and that could be essentially being flown right next to them, but they're never read into the program. So we have to take that into consideration. That is a possibility. I know that some military pilots have come forward that they believe that this is alien. That's their opinion, but it doesn't make it alien. Is it a top secret program? Well, until the government actually admits it, that's gonna be kind of a question mark. What fascinates me is when the government does go on the record and say, we have no idea what that is. And they did that with the Tic Tac back in September of 2019. They, they told me, and I was you know, proud to break that story. It was the first time ever they had gone on the record about it. And I fell off my chair when I got it. But they went on the record saying, we, as the United States Navy, have no idea what those objects are. They called them unidentified aerial phenomena. And that, to me, was an important revelation because, number one, they could be lying. They absolutely could be covering it up themselves. But to me, the more fascinating thing was, what if there's that small chance they're actually telling the truth this time? And they do have no idea what this is. So even though there's a big possibility it is classified technology, for them to go on the record and, and start saying, hey, look, we don't know what that is, that's interesting. We may find out it is a lie decades from now, but for now, they maintain that that's the truth. So we, as the general public, have to figure out with the, the, with the scant evidence that we have access to, what is the reality of what truly is going on? And right now, we have no idea. 